Well, seating for the high school baseball playoffs are out, and one Western Slope athlete has turned in a pair of attention-grabbing performances down the stretch run of the season. Athlete of the Week, sponsored by the Law Office of Chadwick McGrady. Baseball can be one of those sports where it really takes a team to secure a win. But the Rifle Bears senior pitcher Logan Gross has done just about everything he can to secure his team a pair of wins just in time for the postseason. The Bears senior was as good as it gets, throwing a perfect game against Roaring Fork. 18 batters faced, 18 retired. Then, two starts later against Battle Mountain, Gross did it all again, retiring all 15 batters he faced. Kind of just like more like when I got going because, I mean, before every game and everything, I kind of just slept on the bus all the way up there. And then when I get there, I'm kind of just like there, you know. And then when we get going and throwing, it's just like it feels good and then just start going. Baseball players can be creatures of habit, almost always adhering to superstition. But according to Gross, he had different circumstances heading into both of those stellar performances. I don't know. It's kind of different every time. I mean, before games and stuff, I always go out with my dad and all that and just hit, take ground balls, just do everything I can. But before the game, it's kind of just like the mindset's the game, and whatever happens, happens. I can't control it. So. One of the most famous superstitions surrounding a pitcher with a zero in the hit column is famously that players, coaches, and teammates will not mention the no-hitter, or in some instances, even talk to the pitcher on the mound when he's in the dugout. I mean, some people mention it, but most of the time it's kind of quiet. Like, no one's like talking to me too much, I'm just, I'm just going at it, so. And it wasn't just domination on the mound by Gross, but also at the plate. Across the two perfect games, Gross racked up six RBIs, six extra base hits, including a home run. I definitely like hitting the ball because I just like to see how far I can hit the ball. So, pitching is fun. I like doing that too, but hitting the ball is just so fun. Gross, who's actually a Colorado Mesa commit for his play on the football field, and the rest of the Rifle Bears baseball team will be headed to the front range for their regional playoff in Falcon, taking on Cheyenne Mountain in Game 1 Saturday afternoon. And if you have a local athlete you would like to nominate for Athlete of the Week, you can find out how to send that to the newsroom on the article for this story on our website. Let's check out some of those first round matchups for the state playoff bracket for high school baseball I just mentioned. Montrose kicks things off Friday hosting Severance. Saturday, pretty much everyone else is due up. Delta, the Panthers, winners of seven of their last eight games, will host Highlands. Palisade and Central, they're in the same regional bracket at Palisade. Central kicks things off and could potentially advance to play the winner of Palisade's 12-30 matchup. Over in the front range, Junction opens up Saturday morning against or in Windsor against Discovery Canyon. Again, Rifle will also be headed to the front range to take on Cheyenne Mountain. North Fork, they're also going to the front range to take on the regional one seed, Resurrection Christian. And back in the Grand Valley, Fruita Monument, they're going to be a regional host taking on Fairview in their first round. Sticking with base.